Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Toy Store. So today's episode, I'm introducing the Jet Kids Bed Box. Now the reason why I'm introducing it now is because it's about uh, time for Christmas and New Year, so that's where all the holidays are happening. And before you book your ticket, it might be best to take a look at this video because it might uh, really help you in terms of the booking wise. Now, the Bed Box Jet Kids is an award winning item for children on the plane. Now the reason why is because it becomes, this suitcase becomes like a bed. Very easy. Uh, so here, <coughs> turn it around. It's quite simple to open. All you have to do is just press the blue button here, squeeze it in, and that would actually pop it in, and it's locked if I don't press it. It's front wheel drive, so the wheels here can turn, the back wheels can't. With this strap, this is the actual front side, so front side strap with the turnable wheels so that when the kids actually uh, sort of ride the, ride the bed box, they can go in the direction which they want. Or what they can do, what we can do as parents is have this, okay. is have this here locked up and then we can actually pull it for the children so all they have to do is just hold it on like as if they're riding a horse and then we'll pull it now it's very easy uh, now in terms of what you get inside this bed box is the lid a page for stickers so that's to decorate the actual outside of the bed box itself and you get the mattress and the side cushions. Now how we actually use it, it's quite simple. So here, <clears throat> once you've got it out, we turn it upside down. And then again, facing like, you see the two poles and the two holes here. So all you have to do is just place it in, squeeze the buttons, press down, and then you have a strap here that you can pull out. So this actually forms like the, the leg part or the head part, depending which direction your children's on. Now, for this video's purpose, I'm gonna pretend that we are sitting here, and then in the front, there's also another person, like another seat. So all we have to do is just open it up. Here. Now we see the, fac the Velcros, so that's for putting it on sides to prevent your, your children from falling. So now we've got it stuck on. So I mean, you, you gotta remember, like there's the, the arm handles that we normally have, that's to actually stop it from, uh, stop your kids from falling out. So here we have, so we sit here, and so in this instance, this setup is probably for the older children, it's probably from like four year olds uh, and on. So that's where the head's over on this side and then the feet on this side. And then they can sit up uh, as if it's like a business class sort of like a uh, situation. But if your kid, if your child is rather young, probably like six months to uh, up to three years, three years old, then I'll recommend the head facing the, this side that way you can actually see it all the time, see, see them all the time. So their legs would be here, the head's over here, and obviously uh, like the handle, our armrest, the, the adult's armrest would be here. So giving a full protection. And then in terms of the front, you might be scared, oh hey, uh, would my child actually fall out of the bed box? No, because uh, there'll be another seat in front of you. So that's why if you're, if you're going on holiday with like a, an uh, infant, probably like up to four, three, three years old, I recommend booking the seat which is the second row, at least never the first row of the aeroplane, because the front row, and uh, there might be more legroom for the parents, but in terms of using the bed box, it might be safer to have it in the second row, or the third row, fourth row, just not the first row, okay? So here, 
I just take this apart. It's actually quite simple. It's washable. Just take out the Velcro. You'll probably notice it's a bit dirty. It's because my son's been using it and I haven't actually washed it for him <laughs> since. He's probably used it like four or five times so far. He's uh, nearly three years old. So it's an item which I always bring because it actually makes the plane trip really easy. So when I fly back to Australia or something, like I always make sure like my son has this. So this item, you can't actually use it uh, during takeoff and landing because it's actually quite dangerous. So here, so sorry, mine's a bit old and it's fairly steady. Now, some parents might be actually worried like, hey, uh, would the bed box move, move around like when I'm on the plane, when I'm flying, and how will I prevent that from happening? So it's quite easy. So all we have to do is just take out, okay, take out this one. Now you probably notice there's the two, there's this strap that locks into the two blue brackets here. And on the other side, there's one. Reason why is because, let's say we are sitting in this direction. Just where below our, behind our feet, there should be an actual two metal poles underneath our seat. All you have to do is just get this side, put it around because there's the two bars here, just underneath, and then lock it up. So then this way, there is minimal movement of your bed box when your son or your, your children, when your children's uh, sleeping on the bed box. And because of this one, how we can actually uh, adjust the length of the actual bed itself. So by having this set up, then obviously your the actual bed box is quite stable, it won't move around because first of all, this side, the back side, it can't actually uh, move. As I said, it's a front wheel drive, so everything has to be moving from this, from this side, the front side with the turnable wheels. So when you're actually on the side, there's already minimal movement and with the strap on, it's even less, so which is very good. The price wise, uh, I'm actually, uh, a reseller for the jackets so if you want I I can supply this bed box in Hong Kong um, everywhere anywhere else you have to go look for the actual uh, suppliers or the resellers in your in your home country so here so this is it so recommendation before you book your ticket or you book your seat Make sure that if your child's quite young, book the second row or something, just not the first row. First row is probably for the older, older child, like maybe five to seven years old. I mean, uh, note that bed box is actually suitable for up to seven years old. Obviously, if you're seven, you can't actually sleep in it. Uh, all you can do is just uh, have your feet lay out like it, as if it's business class or first class. So that's something to fi figure out. There is one airline company that doesn't actually accept uh, bed box right now, as far as I know. Uh, otherwise, uh, everyone's okay. When it comes to the people on the plane, everyone's quite happy that you actually have that, simply because when your son or your child's just sleeping, everyone gets happy because he's not crying or whatever. So, I mean, another point to note that this is actually adjustable, so, so there's a few heights, so there's one height, there's two height, three, and four, well, there's actually four or five. One, two, three, four, five. There's actually five height adjustment that you can actually make. All you have to do is just choose it, move, move it around, that's it. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Make sure you give me a like if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more and hope, hopefully I'll see you guys next time.